I mean, you know, the U.S. are still uh, relying upon oil from the Middle East. It's not true that U.S. will be independent in oil, but it continue to import. Yes, the production of the U.S. has increased from uh, 6 million barrels per day or 7 to 11 million barrels per day, but the U.S. consumes today 18 million barrels per day. And part of the oil is coming from there. So I think that's true that as soon as you speak about oil, people imagine plenty of geopolitics. I think it's the interest of many countries to have a stable Middle East, you know. And uh, we need this oil. Whatever we are, we need the oil. We, we, it's, uh, it's something that we cannot avoid it. Relationships are going up and down, you know, in diplomatics. Sometimes that's true that maybe, by the way, the Middle East people had the feeling that the U.S. were more coming back to on their, looking to their own garden, I would say. That's true. And maybe we are a little angry against that. But, by the way, what is happening today with the decision of Saudi Arabia to leave the oil price going down, you can see that Saudi Arabia is back in the middle of the game. And people are going to, to go around them. So are back in the middle of the game. And by the way, once again, the price is, has dropped. But globally speaking, for the US economy, it's a good news. Huh? Maybe the US independent producers are not happy. And the US investors in oil and gas are not happy. But globally speaking, for the US economy, as it's an importing economy, it's a good news. So the Americans that are obsessed about energy independence, and there's plenty on Capitol Hill, there's plenty in Washington, probably find a few in Texas as well, where you have operations as well. Do you think they're wrong to be obsessed about energy independence? They're never going to get there, are they? No, they will not give it. No, they will not get it. It's not, no, they will not get it. They will not, I, 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 I will not get it. That's true. And so unless, only one way, which would be good for the whole world, by the way, the climate issue, is that the consumption of oil in the U.S. should drop dramatically. And you are still have a lot of energy efficiency, uh, I would say, gains to make in the U.S. economy. Then maybe we could become independent. But today, you know, when you are becoming a producing country and a low-cost country, you, you, the, the efforts that you will make to reduce your uh, energy consumption are going lower. Look what happened. It was a surprise to me. Uh, the SUV sales in the US mm. in December, three months after the two months after the drop of oil, have been, have been have doubled in one month. So you know the people have a memory <laughs> which is very It's great. Uh, so it's, it's you know, so this is, so, so this is why I would say so I mean yeah. no for me I think the world today everything is interdependent. This idea that you could be independent, especially when you are the US where you have many world companies, where probably is the country which is benefiting the most of the globalization in the world, is just something which is strange mm. to me. I don't believe in that.